Welcome to Amtech's training video series. Amtech Incorporated is an accredited food, water, and environmental testing laboratory located in the San Francisco Bay Area. We are a proud provider of food safety solutions, consultation, research, and training services to the food and beverage manufacturing industries. Today, we will demonstrate how to take environmental monitoring samples. To begin, make sure you have all the materials you need. You will need environmental swabs, permanent marker or pen, environmental sponges, clean gloves, and hand sanitizer. Always remember to check the expiration date and integrity of the swabs and sponges before use to avoid contaminating the samples. Wash hands with soap and water and dry them with a paper towel and apply sanitizer after hands are dry. Wear clean gloves and apply hand sanitizer to the gloves. Label the date, sample number, and sampling location to the sample bag. Put on the gloves supplied with a sponge and spray gloves with sanitizer. The sponge comes with a 10 milliliter of food safe neutralizing buffer solution. Ensure that the sponge is moistened with the solution before swabbing. Peel off the seal and open the bag using the red tabs. Do not touch inside of the bag to avoid contaminating the sample. When using sponges on a stick, squeeze the sponge so the stick extends out of the bag and grasp the stick without touching inside the bag. Swabs should be collected first from direct food contact surfaces such as tanks, utensils, mixers, then followed by indirect non-food contact surfaces, such as the floors and drains. On large and flat surfaces, swab a 4x4 or 12x12 inch area using a crosshatch pattern. Apply heavy pressure when swabbing to ensure that the sponge is picking up the sample from the environmental surface. After swabbing, return the sponge to the bag and bend the stick until it breaks off. Close the bag by rolling the top and folding over the tabs. On small surfaces or hard to reach areas, use the Q-tip swabs to take your environmental samples. Remove the Q-tip from the vial without touching the inside of the vial or swab shaft. Swab the area with heavy pressure to ensure that the Q-tip is picking up the sample from the environmental surface. Return the swab to the vial and ensure that the cap is secure to prevent any leaking. If testing for Listeria and Salmonella from the same area, swab using two separate sponges. Record the sample information on your sample submission form or chain of custody form. Make sure to check off what type of testing you would like the lab to perform on the sample. Keep the swabs refrigerated at 40 to 45 degrees Fahrenheit until ready to ship the sample to Amtec for analysis. Ship samples with a chain of custody form and ice packs preferably the same day of collection, but no later than the next day. Pack the samples in a secure way to avoid damage. Keep the samples cool but not frozen by using an insulated cooler with ice packs. Do not use ice or dry ice. Submit samples within holding time and remember to always include a sample submission form or chain of custody form in the package. Amtec can test your environmental samples for quality indicator microorganisms such as aerobic plate counts, total coliforms and E. coli, yeast and mold, and pathogens such as E. coli 0157H7, Listeria species, and Salmonella. For a full list of our testing capabilities at Amtec or assistance with developing an environmental monitoring plan, visit us at www.amtec.com or call 510-979-1979 or email us at lab at amtec.com. Thank you for watching this training video and stay tuned for our upcoming informational and demo videos by subscribing below.